Uh, okay, let's see if we can't wrap this guy up. Uh, question number five is uh, just a few polar coordinates. Uh, questions, really just sort of graphing points. I didn't throw any of the polar equations on here. Um, so just a few points to convert either from polar into rectangular or vice versa, and then we're just gonna make a sketch of, of, of the points at the end. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, the first one is 3-3 three, three going into polar. Um, so, so what we're going to use, right, the kind of the, the big four formulas we need. Um, so if we're going into polar, we need, right, x squared plus y squared is r squared. So we know the x and the y, we need to find the radius. And we'll also use tangent of theta is y over x. So we'll kind of use that um, in an inverse kind of way. And then, of course, also paying attention to the quadrant. Um, so let's go. So this is x and this is y. So this means x squared plus y squared is radius squared. That's going to be 3 squared plus 3 squared, right, is 9 plus 9 is 18 is radius squared. So that means root of 18 is my radius. Uh, and then that would be right, uh, you know, root of 9 times 2. So that would be kind of 3 root 2 is my radius value. Um, that's probably the best way to write it. Um, when we do this, we're only gonna get the positive values here from the root. Um, uh, you know, if we wanted to, to play around with this and do a negative radius here, that would actually affect the angle that we were working with. Um, so this, there's not really a, a reason to, to do that if we're just sort of doing a generic conversion, just getting the positive here kind of makes the most sense. Um, our angle, right, so the tangent of theta should be y over x, which in this case would be three over three, which is positive one. So tangent of theta equals positive one. And then this point, three, three is in the first quadrant. So I need an angle where the tangent is one and I'm in quadrant one. That would of course be, right, my 45 degrees, otherwise known as pi over four in radians. So the, the sort of uh, value for this uh, as a polar, Point is going to be so three root two, and then the angle is pi over four. So that's going to be our point for a. Uh, let's keep it going. Letter B. The value here, right? The coordinates and x y is is zero negative four. So same thing converted into polar. Um. So x squared plus y squared is r squared. Probably don't need to write that again. Zero squared plus negative four squared. So that's just gonna be 16 is r squared. So that means my radius here is four. Um, not, a, not a big shock if we, if we think of the sort of picture here, right? This would be zero negative four. This is, is where, actually this is gonna come in, right? So if I graph this, right, zero, and then just down one, two, three, four. Right, that's gonna sort of be where the point is. Um, I'm actually gonna use that here in a second. Um, right, but so the distance from the center is just straight down by four, right? So, so because the x value here is just zero, you're moving kind of due south. And so your radius value just syncs up here with, with uh, the distance on the y-axis. Um, I just said, right, so now to get the angle in theory, right, tangent of theta here, should be y over x, so that's negative four over zero. That's like undefined, right? That's a division by zero. Um, for tangent, that's gonna happen when we're either at, um, right, pi over two or three pi over two, right? That's gonna be where my sort of x value is zero. This one is not super mysterious at all, right? We, we literally just made a sketch, and, and so I know just kind of from that sketch, the angle here is three pi over two. That one is not very mysterious at all. You could pretty much get that just from doing the sketch and not really doing any kind of uh, actual like inverse calculation. So the value of this point, right, in polar would be positive four, three pi over two. So that's gonna be uh, point number B, point letter B. Uh, more. So let's run this the other direction. So what if I have the value two and then negative three pi over four? 
So that's in polar coordinates, and I want to convert this into rectangular. So in that direction, I'm going to use the other two formulas, right? And so the formulas there, x is the radius times cosine of theta, and your y value is the radius times the sine of theta. So, so those are pretty much just like two straightforward formulas that we're just gonna sub our, our radius and our angle into and just like get values out of. These are not very mysterious at all. So the x here, right, would be two times cosine negative three pi over four. Where's that angle? Negative three pi over four? That would be back here in like quad three, right? So if we check unit circle, it would, it would sort of sync up, be coterminal with five pi over four. Um, what's gonna happen there? Sine and cosine are both negative. That would be negative root two over two. So two times negative root two over two. So that would just be negative root two. So that's my X. The Y value we said is gonna be two times the sine at negative three pi over four. I, I just sort of said offhandedly, right? That's also gonna be negative root two over two. Whoops, over two. So that's also going to be negative root 2. So my kind of rectangular coordinate here, so as an xy coordinate, it's going to be negative root 2 and negative root 2. So that's kind of point C. I wonder if I should have labeled these as points like A, B, C, D. That probably would have been a better idea. Um, last but not least, point D, letter D. Uh, what are my values here? So this is one and pi over two. This is actually another one you could almost just do a sketch of and, and kind of get your answers. Um, so the x here is gonna be radius times cosine theta. So that's one times cosine pi over two, right? Where is pi over two? That's up at 90 degrees and then you're just going up one. Um, cosine is zero, one times zero is zero. Your y value, radius times the sine of theta, sine at pi over two is positive one. So this is gonna be the, the very unmysterious and very obvious point, um, zero comma one, right? That's my value. Um, and then I guess just here at the bottom, I will do a, just kind of a quick sketch. Um, you know, this is not necessarily something we're trying to make the most beautiful in the world. Um, and I guess we'll see. Maybe let's just kind of go in reverse order. I know that this was D, right, was 0, 1. So my point D is going to be there. If I go back, C was, was negative root two, negative root two. It, it might be a little bit easier to think of that in terms of the, the radius and the angle here. So two on the radius and negative three pi over four. Um, so I might kind of graph that one almost more as a polar value. So C, right, would be kind of rotation back to here and then kind of going out by two. So maybe that's like this. It's like this. So maybe that's kind of point C would be there, right? It's kind of between um, one and two, right? Root two would be kind of between one and two. So that that's fair. That's sort of a half <laughs> sketch. Uh, this is maybe not my best work that I've ever done, but hey, that's okay. We're, we're giving it a go. Um, Where's my other sheet? So, so point A and point B. So A was three comma three, or you know, three root two pi over four. Pi over four is an easy enough kind of angle to get to, but three root two as a radius is, is a little bit more of a challenge. So graphing this as three comma three is probably our best bet. So that's one, two, three, and then up one, two, three. So that was point A. Um, and then last but not least, Point B, this one we could really do either way, right? So this was zero, negative four. We kind of have this kind of half sketch already. Or right, radius four and the angle is three pi over two. So that's right, three pi over two or zero and then down, whoops, down four. Of course, I didn't quite make this long enough. 
So that point B is going to be there. So that's a pretty sorry looking uh, sketch, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't know. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's by hand. Um, you know, it looks a little strange because it's kind of a mixture of, of some polars and some rectangulars. Um, you know, if, if I wanted this to look better, I guess I would have given you everything in one version or the other. But anyway, there we go, right? That's those two systems just going back and forth a little bit. Um, I didn't necessarily ask for any alternate versions of these points. You know, all that stuff exists. Um, I'm probably not going to throw that on the quiz. There you go. All right. Enjoy.